Next up, I wanted to show you a little digital photography. Unfortunately, we need to take a slight detour, slight being this big a detour. Now, there's a very popular photo editing application in Linux, which is called GIMP. It's compared favorably to Photoshop, is very similar in its operation and power. Now, up until now, everything that we've looked at in this Linux installation was installed when I installed Mepis, and it's all worked exactly as advertised. There's been no difficulty, no surprises. Up until now, life in Linux has been a walk in the park. A lot of Linux installs include GIMP. However, the bundled version of Mepis that I installed didn't include it. So in order to show you GIMP, I needed to install it myself. Well, no problem. I am, after all, technically competent. I have my own computer TV show. Well, here I ran into my first big issue in the Linux experience. Now, for most of the Linux world, installing applications is very different from the Microsoft or Mac world. Emphasis on the word very. I nearly fell off the Linux bandwagon at this point. In Mepis, the user-friendly way to install an application is through something called the Synaptic Package Manager. I know, I can hear you asking me the question, why don't they call it Installer, install a matic or install a Rama if it's designed to install applications? I don't know. I wish I knew, but I don't. So in order to install, we have to go into the menu here under System Tools, and there we find the Synaptic package manager. Now, I've already got it open here. Let me open it up and show you what happens. It took me a while, but I finally figured out how to install GIMP. When you open the Synaptic package manager, it's sort of like a web browser in itself. It goes out on the internet and looks for applications that are appropriate for this version of Linux. And it looks in things called repositories, basically web servers that store packages which contain the applications that will run fine in Mepis. A little bit confusing, but we can work our way through this. Now, unfortunately, the next thing was a big problem for me. I went to search for GIMP, but I couldn't find it. The reason I couldn't find it is I first of all had to click reload because this package manager actually didn't know what packages were available until I reloaded it to let it know what packages were available. Then once I did that, I could click on search and it went out and searched and this is what it came back with in search. It came back and found a whole bunch of different things, fortunately including something called GIMP, which I hoped was the right application, but it found all of this. Now here, a little bit of good news. When I clicked on GIMP here, it gives me a nice description of what it is and gave me the confidence to know that this is indeed the application that I want to install. I thought I was there, except how do I install it? There's no install button here in this package manager. Well, it turns out what you do is you right click in this little box here and up will come a context sensitive menu, which includes mark for installation. Now mine says mark for reinstallation because I've already installed it once. What you actually have to do is you mark something for installation and in this particular case it selected several files because it had to also include the data file so there it kind of helped me along and now a new button became available to me at the top that said apply so I clicked on apply and then it comes up with a dire warning that tells me don't install this for goodness sakes because it could be malicious code if it's not authenticated and it hasn't been authenticated well but I know it's okay so I clicked apply anyways and a very pleasant thing happened. GIMP began downloading onto my computer and it downloaded very fast. Here a full graphics editor downloaded in about a minute and a half. That was a pleasant surprise and even better not only did it download but it installed automatically. It just went through and installed and not only did it install but it installed in the correct directory. It installed in the graphics directory so right there the GIMP image editor installed. Now, I would have preferred somewhere along the line a button had appeared saying install GIMP on your computer, but we got to there at the end of the day anyways. Now, as I said, this was the user-friendly way to install Linux applications. Believe it or not, there are different routes, some of which are even more technically difficult, and pocket protectors definitely become mandatory. They involve typing into consoles and talking directly to the operating system. You can think DOS, but even harder, uh, we're not going there. But here's the good news. Once you figure out the Synaptic Package Manager, it's pretty easy to use the next time, if there is a next time. So when we get back, we will finally look at GIMP. Please come back. For more information about any of the products we cover on the show, drop by our website at dottotech.com.